genius. Oh my god, George Lucas is a genius. Oh, we love George Lucas. George Lucas. Obi Wan never told you what happened to your father. Guys are riding their bikes down this rocky, rocky trail. <laughs> He told me yes. He told me you killed him. Hello. This is Rick. And we're going to do, we're like, <laughs> hopefully I have an intro for you because I'm kind of blocked by the sun. The sun is behind me. But in this talk, in this trail I've never been down on, we are going to talk about Star Wars and my experience with Star Wars. Now, if you're new here, this is a virtual walk. There'll be five minute uh, places in five minute increments where you can... Um, know how long you've been marching in place. So I'd love for you to stand in place, march in place, um, and hang on one second, let me just do it. Ugh, okay. Okay, so hi, this is Rick. Welcome to Virtual Walks with Rick. We are going to talk about Star Wars today. Star Wars. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you, you kids that didn't experience it when it first came out in the theater. Ah, so this is a virtual walk. Um, it'll be about 30 minutes, probably 30 to 40 minutes. Maybe it'll even be in two parts, maybe two parts, the first trilogy and then the next trilogy. But, um, we were having audio issues yesterday, so I don't know. We'll see what's going on. But, um, please stand at your computer, stand in place and march you know, walk in place with me as we walk down this trail. Um, this wonderful trail, we're at uh, top of the world, Laguna Beach. Um, that over there is Irvine, that's Saddleback Ridge. This is kind of a rocky trail, so we probably won't get bicycles. There's been a lot of bicycles whizzing by me. So um, it's a beautiful place here. It's about 83 degrees, but there's a gentle breeze. But if you want to stand in place and walk, or if you want to just sit in your chair and move your arms, this is just about exercise. It's about moving and exercising. So the talk itself is just to, ooh, that's called rocket trail. Hmm, who knows? Maybe someday. This one looks like there's more of it, so I'm just going to go on this trail. Um, we've already been walking, and we've been talking about bartending. <laughs> I'm also a bartender, so I've been talking about bartending. So check one of those out. But uh, so we're going to talk about Star Wars. Star Wars came out in 1977. I was seven years old. There was a place, and I grew up in Colorado. There was a place called the Colorado Theater down on Colorado Boulevard. I believe it was Colorado Boulevard. And it was a little bit further down than our... I think we had a Cineplex. I'm not sure if we had a Cineplex or not by us at this time. Because I was seven years old, I remember they built the movie theater that I would eventually work in, probably when I was like 12 years old. Anyway, so it wasn't it, w it wasn't like it was right down the street. It, we had to drive at least 20 to 30 minutes to get to this theater. It was a huge theater. I saw Top Gun there too. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. It was a huge theater. It was so big. It was kind of roundish and it was huge. But it was so big that they had like a little smoking room this is before smoking I, I think they had finally banned smoking in theaters but you know like i said this is 1977 so everybody was smoking in restaurants and all that stuff but they had like a little room at the colorado theater where people could still be in the theater but you're in a glass enclosure and you could smoke in this room that's when they catered to smokers but still try to keep them separate from us non-smokers anyway star wars it was like this big deal. People on the playground. It came out in May, I believe, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Um, so we went down to um, the Colorado Theater. Now, I've, I've seen it several times. We saw it several times during that year. They kept re-releasing it. We kept going back and seeing it. So I might be jumbling some of the times I went, but I kind of remember this first time being at this theater. And I remember getting down there <laughs> and they were a line around the building. 
this huge theater. There was a line around the building. Talk about a blockbuster. That's what it actually means. Blockbuster means you're busting the block because you're around the theater. So um, you would have to stand in that line that went around the theater just to buy your tickets. Remember, there's no online ordering. I don't think you could order ahead of time. Maybe you could have, but we weren't going to do that. It was, the theater was too far away. So we would stand in line before, okay, so say the movie started at this, I'm a kid, so we went in the daytime, I'm sure, uh, on a Saturday. So, and maybe that's why it was so full is because, it, but it had had a reputation by this time. It was, it was one of those things where it was like, oh, I have to go see it. It wasn't like, um, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, it's coming out on Friday. I have to go see it. Nobody knew what this thing was going to be. So it wasn't until um, it actually came out and there was all this buzz and oh my gosh, everything's so cool and the robots and space and blah, 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 and Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader and all this stuff. So we went later after the hype because I remember kids from school, I've already seen it two times. I've already seen it three times. Well, I've already seen it, you know, and it's like, and you haven't seen it? What a loser. I don't think we used the word loser back then, but why well, you haven't seen it? What it was? How come you haven't seen it? Blah, blah, blah. Get your mom and dad to take you. Blah, blah. Anyway, so we went down to the Colorado Theater, lying around the block. The movie started at 12. So we would go down at 12. Oh, there's a bicycle. Told you so. Um, so we would go down at 12 to see that show. <laughs> and my mother was like, huh? And we had to stand in line. We stood in line at 12 when the movie was started. We stood in line and waited and finally got to the point where we could buy the tickets and then we waited in the line to go into the theater for the next show that was probably like at 2.30 or something like that. <laughs> I mean, amazing. I, I can't, I still can't believe it. It's just, it's ridiculous. It was so silly and ridiculous and you just couldn't believe it. And then, of course, we watched it and it was like, oh, oh my God, this is so great. We loved it. I mean, loved it. I mean, couldn't stop thinking about it, couldn't stop talking about it at school. When are you going to see it again? When are you going to see it again? When are you going to see it again? I've seen it 10 times now. I've seen it 15 times. My brothers saw it 30 times already, but you know, this happened all throughout the summer, all through the year, I think. I mean, it was just, oh my gosh, it was the biggest thing ever. They had specials on TV. Oh my gosh, it was just crazy. B. Arthur was in a Star Wars special. It was so stupid. You just couldn't believe it. And she's singing Star Wars and um, Saturday Night Live. Oh, now see, this is going to be a challenge because those kids are riding their bikes and it's very narrow. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I should just try to go quickly through this little pass. This will look cool on camera though going through this little pass. But, oh my gosh, if a car, a car, if a bike comes, I'll have to jump off the road real quick. Just like a light speeder. Anyway, I remember getting out of the parking lot, like one of the times I've, I saw it there at the Colorado Theater. And um, they're like, oh my gosh, they're making a sequel. They're making a sequel. Oh, see, here comes a car. Here comes bicycles. It's scary, 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 scary. Okay, they're just going to be in my movie. They're just going to be in my movie. Sorry. You guys have messed up my day. Maybe this is only for bikes. It might have said bikes only trail. Anyway, so I remember getting out in the parking lot and they're like, they're already making a sequel. They're making a sequel. We have to see the sequel. Well, but, well the sequel didn't come out until like 1980. So we waited like three years. During those three years, Star Wars would be re-released <laughs> like several times. I remember the kid up the street had this new thing called a laser disc player. I don't think, did it come out on VHS? Did we have Betamax and VHS back then? I guess we did. Maybe they had a VHS because I remember they had Rocky as well. 
but I think it also was on Showtime or Cinemax or something. I can't remember totally, but I do remember going up to this kid's house. Now, I really do want to say that he had a laser disc because it was something new and crazy cool. Maybe it was a VCR. VCRs were like $400. It was really impractical to buy one. I remember buying my first one for like $150. <laughs> crazy. Oh, shoot. Is there somebody behind me? It sounds like there's somebody behind me. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm nervous. And there's also probably snakes in here. Who knows? Anyway, so I'm a little seven-year-old kid, and I remember my dad and I, um, we belong to kind of like uh, the YMCA's answer to Boy Scouts was a program called Indian Guides. So me and my dad, it was father, son, and it was a whole bunch of, of other fathers and sons in this group. Awesome, awesome. Had the best time. We walked in the Colorado mountains. We would hike, do little trails and stuff. Later, we became trailblazers. When you got old enough, I don't know if that's 12, 10, 12, 13, something like that. Anyway, so one of our field trips, Indian guides, I know that sounds racist now. So YMCA has changed that from Indian guides to adventure guides <laughs> now because I guess it's racist to say Indian. So our group went down to Star Wars and saw Star Wars. And I remember my father, this was the first time my father had seen it. Years and years and years later, he said, I just remember sitting in that theater. The Colorado theater was huge. I mean, huge, <sighs> huge. And it had a huge screen. And you know, that opening scene where the spaceship comes through. Oh, I mean, it's just so memorable and it's so amazing. And it puts you in awe right away. Puts you in awe right away. And my dad commented on years and years. Oh, remember when we saw the Star Wars and, and the, that big ship came through. Oh, it, it, I mean, it was magical. It was so magical and you would have to. Now, as I recall, they didn't expect this to be as big as it was. And it was either um, Hasbro or Kenner Toys had a licensing thing. I remember getting bubblegum cards and we'd get different cards. We would dress up and play in between times that we would beg our families to take us to the movie. We would play Star Wars. I remember we had this big, you know, like a wardrobe box, like when you move, you get a big wardrobe box. I remember putting that on its side, cutting a hole out or something and having shares in there and making that the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> and I would draw stuff on the cardboard on the sides of the panels to make it look like a spaceship. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Me and the kid down the street, he was Han Solo, I was, I think I was Han Solo. He was Luke Skywalker because he just had this blonde flowy hair. Well, so did I, but he was older, so he got to do. Anyway, we wanted to make a film, but I think he had a movie camera. But anyway, it got a lot of people interested in filmmaking. But uh, I unfortunately didn't have a camera at that time or that guy didn't couldn't get his parents camera, whatever. I, I wish I would have because I would have started my career earlier. But um, Oh my gosh, it was just the biggest thing in the world. You, I can't, ex I try to explain this to my nephews and they're like, yeah, yeah, we know, we've heard it. I'm like, no, you don't understand how all encompassing it was. There was no internet, there's no anything else. All there is is your friends on the block, everybody's playing Star Wars. Um, you're dressing up as Star Wars characters at Halloween. You're thinking about it all the time. You're going to school and people are like, how many times have you seen it? I've seen it 10 times. I've seen it 15 times. Well, I've seen it 20 times. I'm gonna go see it again tonight. And then they'd re-release it and they would keep bringing it back. And you're just like, oh my gosh. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just loved it. I mean, loved it. It was, oh my gosh. It, it, they would put out stories about it. Like, you know, on the DVD where they have the making of, they came out with a making of TV special and they would talk to the actors and the actors would be on like Carrie Fisher and I don't really remember Harrison Ford as much, but Carrie Fisher and Mark Hamill would be out. Um, 
talking on the talk shows and be, I think they'd be on game shows. I can't remember. Anyway, it was like any little taste you could get of any part of anything that was going on, you needed to know about it. And again, see the movie, see the movie, see the movie, see the specials, see anything. Oh my God, they're going to replay the making of. Did you watch it last night? Oh my God, my parents wouldn't let me stay up that late. Whatever. It was the most awesome thing as a seven-year-old little boy. I mean, you just, you can't know. You can't know. There's nothing like that now. There's nothing. Lord of the Rings, maybe, but you still wouldn't stand in line around the block for it. Um, maybe the Avengers, but you still wouldn't stand in line around, because it just affected kids just this deeply. It was just so uh, amazing. Uh, amazing. Loved it. It was uh, just everything, everything, everything. Was, I don't know how these people ride their bikes down this little trail thing. It's horrible. It looks really scary. And if a, if a bike comes right now, I will die. I literally will die. Now that I know what this trail is, I'm not going on this trail. So if this is part two, if you're watching part two of this, um, please stand in place. This is a virtual walk. Please stand in place and move your arms or your legs or your whatever. You know, if you're sitting down, just move your arms and legs. If you're standing up, please walk in place. We're doing some exercises here, walking down the trail. We are using our Q Zune, our Zune Q2 little tiny image stabilizer and our iPhone 11, in case you are wondering. I'm using the headphones to my um, see, there's no wind today, so the, actually the camera mic might be even better, but um, I've had good success with just the headphone mic um, at blocking wind. But see, there's no wind right now, so I don't know. I don't know what this is going to sound like. <laughs> but um, that's what's happening, and we're going to talk about Empire Strikes Back as a little kid who saw it for the first time in the movie theaters. I would have been about 10 years old at this point, because um, I was seven when the first one came out in 77, so I would be um, 10 years old when uh, the next one came out. Empire Strikes Back. Oh, and I forgot to say in the earlier one, this is when the movie was called Star Wars. Um, yep. Just me solo. I think he meant that it's just him solo. This is a good trail to remember not to come back on because, oh my gosh, it's just too narrow and people just kill you with a bike. Okay, so this is when the movie was just called Star Wars. It was just called Star Wars. We had no other names <laughs> but Star Wars. And so when the movie, the next movie came out, it was called the Empire Strikes Back. I don't even remember us saying, oh, Star Wars 2. I, it just wasn't a thing. You didn't say Star Wars 2. I, I, nobody would say Star Wars 2. It's Star Wars. And then The Empire Strikes Back. Or Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. But I don't really remember saying Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. I just remember saying, oh, The Empire Strikes Back. I never referred to it as Empire, like some of the actors started doing. Well, when I worked on Empire, you know, oh my gosh. Here comes a guy. Here comes a guy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm getting this clearing. Ah, we did it. All right. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Look at this rocky trail. That's crazy. These guys are riding their bikes down this rocky, rocky trail. Well, that's kind of like reminiscent of the asteroid belt in <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. Okay, so by this time, oh, I, what I also I forgot to say in the last one was that. Um, I started to say it, but they didn't have the toys ready for Christmas. Everybody wanted some kind of toy, some kind of Star Wars toy for Christmas, but they didn't really realize it was going to be this big of a deal. I remember my birthday, my eighth birthday, we had a Star Wars themed party, birthday party. All my friends came over. We had Star Wars cake and Star Wars this and Star Wars. It was just the biggest thing in the world. And um, at Christmas, they did not have enough uh, toys. They just hadn't made any toys. They hadn't thought about it. They didn't plan on it. The, this is kind of before merchandising was really, Star Wars kind of introduced the merchandising thing. Now you wouldn't think about making a kid's movie without having toys already ready. Um, but, uh, oh my gosh, this is just terrible. I can't imagine them writing this. Oh my gosh. So, um, 
Empire Strikes Back comes out. We could, oh, to finish that thought about Christmas. So they didn't have the toys ready, so they would sell you an empty box <laughs> with the characters' faces on it or whatever, and you were going to get the toy later. You get this, and then you send it in to redeem your <laughs> toy later. <laughs> Just so silly. I mean, so ridiculous. This this is a crazy trail. My gosh, look at look back here at this trail. I'm gonna have to climb that up. I'm gonna have to climb up that. My gosh. Anyway, so please walk in place. Move your arms. Let's go. This is exercise. We're doing exercise here. Um, so anyway, Empire Strikes Back comes out. We sit in the darkened movie theater. So maybe this will be part two. Uh, because I, I'm for sure I'm about the time now. Anyway, so Empire Strikes Back comes out. I'm sure they've re-released Star Wars again because they were releasing it. It, it. I think it stayed in the theaters for a long time and then they just kept re-releasing it like almost every year because it wasn't on TV. It was, they were selling VHS. So like I said, I think they had a laser disc by this time or something. But I remember seeing it at my friend's house or something. But I do remember him having like Rocky and something else and he had a VHS tape of it. Oh my gosh, these sounds, this is crazy. I'm, never, I'm not doing this trail ever again. I just don't have the right shoes. And my poor little knees are gonna break up. So um, Empire Strikes Back, we're all waiting for it. We're all anticipating it. We went like, I don't know, one of the first weekends. We didn't know anything about it, nothing. Nobody spoiled anything back then there was no internet i just remember we must have seen it like on one of the, the first weekend because um nobody spoiled anything so um <laughs> i loved it now uh, apparently retro reviews said that this was not reviewed good and people didn't like it and blah 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 and all this stuff i loved it i really loved it i thought it was fantastic i mean really good really emotional i just felt it was better than the first one i i loved it i just thought it was so good i mean i shouldn't say better i just it was just compliment now if you watch watch it again as an adult you're like oh star wars is really simple but empire strikes back it's got all the emotions and all the feeling and i wanted princess leia and han solo to be together and what she might like luke maybe luke you know i don't know anyway it, this is before any of the other stuff we knew and um it was just so awesome and then that asteroid field scene was so cool it was the coolest thing and luke getting messed up in the very very beginning it was so cool and having them actually like in um like uh oh my god i'm gonna fall on my ass Shh, look at this thing here comes a guy oh my gosh i gotta get out of this i'm nervous i don't know how i'm gonna walk back up this thing though i don't know how i'm gonna walk back up it oh i almost died okay so the asteroid field was so cool cloud city was so cool landau calrissian oh awesome i mean just really awesome and you know um i love you i know <laughs> one of the best lines in cinema history i mean just oh my god am i on the wrong wrong side wrong side oh i don't know i think i'm on the wrong side i will never come down this way again ever oh my gosh scary very scary. Um, I just didn't know this was a trail for bikes. I had no idea. Oh, here comes somebody. I gotta get out of their way. Okay, I'm way over here now. Okay, I'm out of their way. Okay. So, I mean, the coolest movie ever. And then, of course, of course, spoiler alert if anybody hasn't watched Empire Strikes Back, but, um, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. Uh, 
broke my concentration. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He called me a nef. He told me you killed him. <laughs> I mean, no. And see, people didn't know that his hand got cut off. I knew his hand got cut off. People just thought his lightsaber went. My cousin, for instance, um, she didn't think his hand, she's like, what are you talking about? Because in, in the next movie, when he's toying with his mechanical hand, she's like, huh, what's that? And I'm like, his hand got cut off, don't you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so people kind of missed the hand cut off. I never missed it because it was such a big scene, what happened when his hand got cut off. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. So overacting. Anyway, um, he says, no. I am your father. Oh my gosh. I mean, the theater, literally, we all did that. There was no spoilers. Nobody knew any better. Nobody, I mean, it was a shock. We couldn't believe it. It was insane. And my little 10-year-old brain went, and of course, I matured more than the other children. So I was into the love story and... I probably had a huge crush on Harrison Ford, and oh my gosh, just, my little brain was just like, ah, ah, ah. and um, oh, it's just such a good movie, and oh, I wanted to be Luke Skywalker, of course, and I had like the lightsaber, I think I had, I had some kind of a lightsaber, I had something that I played with, I remember, and I had toys, and I had the Millennium Falcon. Did I have the Millennium Falcon? I had something. I was also very into the Six Million Dollar Man, and I had <laughs> all these Six Million Dollar Man toys as well. But um, I can't remember if I had all these Star Wars toys as well, but oh my gosh, it was the biggest thing. So it started up again, and we all would, you know, I'm this person, well, I'm this person, well, I'm going to be... And then the minor characters were thought, so, who's that? What? Like, you would get these trading cards, Boba Fett. Who's, what's a Boba Fett? You know, what are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. So we wouldn't know any of these things. And I'm really nervous. I don't think I'm gonna to get to the bottom of this. It's really scary anyway. Yeah, here's a trail. I'm, I'm wondering if I should just stop because this is really getting dangerous. My shoes, I just don't know. Oh, gosh, how far down is it? I think it's time for me to walk back. I've been out about an hour and 10 minutes now. Look at this trail. So, Cloud City and him coming in at the end and the music was just... And then the very incredible... You know, um, the first one, we were always like, oh my gosh, written and directed by George Lucas. Oh, George Lucas, George Lucas, George Lucas, George Lucas, George Lucas. Oh my God, George Lucas is a genius. Oh, we love George Lucas. George Lucas, George Lucas, George Lucas, George Lucas, George Lucas. And then all of a sudden, the end of this one, directed by, you know, that guy. I, I don't even remember his name now. Um, that guy. Oh, it'll come to me. But uh, we're like, huh? Why wasn't he directing it? What's going on? Where's George Lucas? Huh? And lo and behold, we found out that's why it was so good. That's because George Lucas didn't direct it. Nobody else. All right. Thank you, sir. Um, but friendly people here in Laguna Beach, aren't they friendly? Because they're all rich. That's why they're friendly. Um, so let's go up these stairs. And I mean, these are just first impressions. I'm not critiquing the movie. I'm just giving you little kid first impressions of the Empire Strikes Back. I mean, oh, died, I loved it. I don't remember going back and seeing this one a thousand times. I just didn't. Um, I don't know why, maybe we're just older or what, but it was more satisfying maybe, I don't know. It's just like, oh, I don't need to see it again. I have my memories, whatever. <laughs> it's just, look at those trees down there. They're kind of like dead trees. You can't really see them, but they're like dead trees down there. Um, my gosh, if somebody came now, they would kill me. I mean, literally, the bike would kill me. Just would. Anyway, so, same thing at school. Did you see it? Oh, my God, you saw it, right? I saw it. Oh, my God. Big deal. I just don't remember seeing it a thousand times. 
Then, um, let's see, where are we at? 15 minutes. Yeah, we're doing about 15 minutes on each movie. These are just my impressions, not my critiques, but my impressions. So, um, I'll talk just a little bit more about Empire Strikes Back. I don't remember getting any toys. Um, I don't remember really acting it out. I think it was because I was older. But I love that movie. I really, honestly, I don't remember seeing it more than once, once maybe twice. I don't, it wasn't the same. Before it was like a challenge. She's Star Wars, how many times she's Star Wars? How many times she's Star Wars? This one wasn't like that. It was like, oh, great. And I guess it didn't make as much money, which I, you're just like, what? It's such a better film. But it just didn't make as much money or something, whatever. But we still loved it. We still thought it was great. Loved it. All the new characters, Yoda. I mean, all these different things. Just super entertaining. Lovely, wonderful. I'm going to cut it off here.